Hello and welcome everyone, I'm C.S. Gilmore and this is Hook. Now this is just a simple puzzle game uh, where you try to retract all these uh, little hooks and uh, the like. And it gets a lot more complicated later. Um, yeah, right now these ones are pretty simple, it's just a matter of pushing the buttons. Gives you the con basic concept, but things get a lot trickier later because now like if I had tried to pull this one Right, that I just pulled, it would, the one with the hook there, it would have caught on the other one originally and I wouldn't be able to pull it. Like, let me show you. See, it catches, then the level restarts. But, this is a nice simple game, it's got 50 levels. And, these early ones are really easy. Um, the later ones are really tricky actually, but, these early ones are pretty easy and you know this is a game that was designed to be relaxing mostly you can kind of get that feel from the music so the later levels may be a little less relaxing at least for me because they are challenging but it's still very well done and it kind of gives that ne necessary mix of being a puzzle game and being like having the challenge a slight challenge of a puzzle game eventually while also being able to be relaxing. So definitely check this game out. Um, it's like a, only a dollar if I remember right. You may even be able to find it for a little touch less, depending, I don't know. If you got in like a bundle or something. But anyway, it's I believe it's only a dollar and it's available on Steam. Also it's it's not a bad game. It's really good. And the developers have done a good job with it. It's just making it challenging, but like you have to stop it, especially now that things are starting to get more complicated. I have to stop it and think and make sure everything's not hooked together in weird ways. But, and here we have a new concept, uh, junctions, which can hit multiples at times. So you have to be aware of where you're pulling. Like this one, now this one, and this one. Because a button can affect more than one of these hooks at once. And it's actually, yeah, works pretty well once you get the hang of it, but it's so easy to miss them later on when there's way more complicated setups. And you got these ones here that are kind of like split needles, but if I tried to pull on it, it wouldn't come because it's like one needle, but it just has another one going through it. So I have to pull them in the right order in order to make sure they don't catch on each other and restart my level on me. Um, it would just reset the level itself, not it wouldn't go do a jerk move like, oh, and now you have to start the game over. It wouldn't, it doesn't do that. Um, that one, that one, and now this one, this one, and this one. Okay. So these first levels are pretty easy. And now we bring in another thing. We have these junctions so I can control which ones go where. Ah. All right. Uh, let's disconnect those and reconnect them. Awesome. So yeah, it gives you a lot of control over what can be done. All the puzzles are solvable. I can tell you that. I actually did a recording of this already, and but something was wonky with my volume, with my microphone volume, and I had to re-record it. So now I'm here. So I've been through these levels. It's and yeah, all of them are playable. The game works really well. Ah, I messed up. See? Very easy to f forget where something's connected. Okay, that's there, that's there. And that one to there. And that one to there. And there. Okay. I'm going to just go to level 25 with this. It's going to be a really short episode. But I have to get going somewhere. And... Uh, we'll get the long grind. The longer episode will come in with the next level. Uh, the next episode, because I'll go through the last 25. Actually, maybe I'll go up to 30. I've got a little bit. I've got, I think I've got enough time to do that. I'll go up to 30 here, and that will... Yeah, that should work out well. Make this one slightly longer, and make... The next one, not quite as long as it's going to be, because it's going to be kind of long. Okay. 
goes there too. Oh, I messed up. Sorry. All right. Thankfully, you don't get penalized for just pushing the bite, even if nothing happens. It only resets your level if you pull it when you shouldn't. As uh, I can't pull this hook here because it would catch on this nail over here, which I can pull now. Okay, now I can pull this one. Awesome. A lot of it is like, you know, it's very simple, but it is, it's only a dollar. And it wasn't designed to become like overly complex. It's designed to give you something to be able to play and take it easy with. which hooks are connected to which areas and how to hook them up. Okay, there. So that one to there, that one to there. And like, yeah, I have to make that kind of step system there with those wires in order to make them work. Okay. Ah, that one. Okay, that one gets that one. Now I have to kind of reverse this. So these early levels are really simple, and there's only 50 levels, I think, I, I believe I mentioned, but it's a good game. It's well put together, and, you know, it's, it's worth a dollar. It's worth what you pay for it. And, yeah, it's, these early levels are kind of relaxing, you know, very minor brain work, and then later on, when you get into some more complicated stuff, it is more brain work, a little less relaxing, but it makes for a good puzzle game. Alright, we'll do level 30 here. So yeah, you got a lot of these intersections you have to work with. You can do stuff like that where you can just cut one off from... You can cut a wire short, basically. Eh, whoops. There we go. And that one. And there. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, we'll finish up the last 20 levels in the next episode. Uh, like I said, check it out on Steam. It's very, it's a nice, simple game. Uh, the gameplay mechanics are easy to pick up. You're just clicking, adjusting the stuff around. And I'll put a link in the description for the Steam page as well as the, uh, probably the site for this game. That I found and yeah all good thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it uh, leave a comment below let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next video bye